Breaking news, Supreme Court verdict, Olu Group disowns Governor Uzedema, says he will lose re-election. Hello, my wonderful people. Guys, you should know by now that um, the re-election, to a large extent, the people of Imo State from the very first instance did not vote the governor, call Hope. The people did not vote him. It was the same Supreme Court who, you know, passed a verdict and said, you know, the guy won the election. And Mecca was there, other people were there, but we all know what happened. And that is why we need to really own our votes. And we, after voting, we've done all we should do. We should do the, what we needed to do. And afterward, my dear, you may not like it, but it's the truth. We need to also pray so that we get the leaders, you know, and um, nothing, you know, they don't use by hand trick. Nigeria has not gotten to that place where, you know, our elections, our results can be called. And it is what we really wanted. Let's get all the details. Supreme Court verdicts. Olu Group, this own governor, Zedema, says he will lose re-election. A political group, Olu Political Action Committee, OPAC, has reacted angrily to the Supreme Court verdict that settles the legal fireworks between Imo and River State over 17 disputes disputed oil well. This dispute, Daily Trust reported, was resolved in favor of River State. In a statement on th Saturday, the group from Olu politically disowned Imo State Governor Hope Ezedema. It was on the sons and daughters of Olu currently serving in Ezedema's government and asked him to resign immediately. Ezedema is the immediate past senator that represented their community, Olu Sanitaria District, in the National Assembly. The political group said any political party dealing with hope would be, would be roundly rejected at the polls in 2023. The group political publicity secretary, Barrister Nandi Maduke, made this declaration in the statement made available to Daily Post. Part of the statement reads, It is deeply unacceptable and unpardonable that our ancestral land has been taken away from us right under the watch of an Olu son. Hope, Zedema, is a curse, is not a blessing to us. We have placed a permanent ban on the Imo state governor, Hope, Zedema, for seeking re-election as governor, contesting any other election in future, or holding any public office upon the expiration of his current tenure. Any political party that is dealing with Chief Hope Zedema should be aware that the collective right of Olu people awaits such a party. For us, this loss is orchestrated primarily by the inability of the regime of Chief Hope Zedema to engage the legal battle and deploy other relevant political tools in ascertaining ownership over the land and its accompanying resources. It is disheartening to note that while the legitimacy lasted, Chief Hope Zedema lost focus and instead bust himself with flamboyant and shameful political paparazzi instead of focusing and concentrating for the people. It is really disheartening. In the last few days, countless lives, including those of law enforcement personnel, have been lost. What is really worrisome is that the so-called Imo, Imo has remained clueless over the killings, and they call them unknown good men. The impact of this regime has been disastrous on us. We can never have such a son. We thought he was one of us. But indeed, this man is a curse, and if and a, this man is a curse and a real reproach to the people of Olu and Imo State at large. So if you if you pay attention, you will know that there's a legal battle that has been ongoing uh, between a River State and um, Imo State. And it has been because of um, a portion of land uh, which has some oil wells, 17 precisely. And so uh, what this uh, very particular oil well used to be in a local government area. And the people really, you know, thought that, the, when, you know, this whole battle started when uh, Hope was a senator representing 
representing his own very senatorial district, Yolo people. And guess what? This man, instead of him focusing and ensuring that his people were protected and looked after, he got distracted. He never deployed any meaningful tool to ensure the survival of his people by bringing in the right things he needed to do, making sure that everything was done decently and in order. Rather, his attention and his focus went on di were different matters. At the end of the day, the people are kind of like losing out because the court's case went in favor of River State. The people of Olu are greatly offended, you know, and they said this, this guy is not a blessing to them. It's rather a curse, and they, they don't want to have anything to do with him. They said they will make sure he's not re-elected, and um, they will ensure that, you know, they pass on the message to everyone and anyone who could potentially, okay, um, who could potentially not understand that the people of Olu, okay, have already disowned him. Any political party still dealing with hope, is dealing on his own. You know, Hope has really, you know, uh, since he became governor, he has really brought a lot of shame on the people to a large extent. This is a man who, you know, is supposed to be protecting his own. Largely, he's, uh, he has done more harm than good. He's done more harm than good to his people. You know, the people are more devastated. The people are more you know other things you know happening instead of them focusing and understanding okay what really you know these things are really all about this is what this man has brought on his very own people the people are saddened yeah really sad by the occurrence of their so-called son okay who seemingly is not representing them well okay and is representing other interests Okay, so these are some of the things that are ongoing and um, the people of Imo State have said anyone who's going to be working with hope is working against them and they don't want to have anything to do with such an individual, all because of what hope has been doing. You know, hope came in and um, he came in uh, and since he came in, the sons and daughters of Ibo land have been going, you know, in numbers like flies. They've been picking them up. A lot of things have been going on and it's terrible. Some of the things that are going on in those regards. And that's why nobody can fold their arms and pretend that all is well. You know, and this is why they are calling him to order to say, guy, you know what? Eh? You've really, you've really, you've really gone beyond. You've, you've done those things you shouldn't do. We, we notice it and we are, we are very, you know, we, we, are, we, are, we are very sad. Okay. By the, by the decisions you've made, the things you have done that is causing us more trouble. Leave us a comment. We'd we'll love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Bye for now.